Today, I'll be talking about the research I've made over the past year on ecoenzymes. First of all, what is it? It is a mixture of fruit and vegetable waste together with water and sugar. It is usually fermented for around two months. During the fermentation process, microorganisms grow and it becomes and it begins producing enzymes. It can be used for a range of purposes, including organic fertilizer, a replacement for detergent, and can also be used to, used to treat th synthetic gray water. Enzymes are catalysts that help speed up the process of breaking down certain substances. Ecoenzymes are therefore helpful to provide a better growing environment for different plants, as it can help break down nutrients to be absorbed easily. Enzymes are also microbial inoculant, which can also improve the water holding capacity of soil and the soil structure. Microorganisms can also help grow, help with the nutrient cycle and the decomposition of organic matter. Nutri nitrogen fixing bacteria also transforms nitrogen into the forms that the soil can absorb easily. Enzymes are catalysts that help speed up the process of breaking down certain substances and therefore provide a better growing environment for plants as it can help break down nutrients to be absorbed easily. Over the winter, I grew a plant watered with enzymes compared to a control group watered only with water. As you can see, the plant watered with enzymes grew significantly higher. After the winter break, beans were beginning to grow on the experimental plant, whereas the control group beans were only beginning to flower. Here are two graphs of the comparison between the bean watered with ecoenzymes versus the plants watered with water. The graph on the top shows the growth of the bean plant watered with ecoenzymes. The graph on the bottom shows a comparison of the ecoenzymes bean plant compared to a bean plant watered with conventional fertilizers. Even in that comparison, the ecoenzymes grew taller and faster compared to the beans watered with fertilizer. With this information, I wanted to test ecoenzymes and the different possible concentrations. To do this, I added different amount of enzyme to each solution, with a medium being one milliliters of enzymes to the solution, I increased it all the way to five times the amount of enzymes and half the amount. Here are two graphs of the comparison. The results for this experiment showed not a significant difference, but with more tests, I believe that I can come to a better conclusion. It did, however, show the effectiveness of en ecoenzymes once again as the beans watered grew better in general, and some things I observed included the larger leaves and several bean plants that flowered very early compared to the control group. After all this, it once again comes down to one of the most important problems, chemical fertilizers or organic fertilizers. Enzymes provide a strong solution to this problem by lowering the cost of organic fertilizers by a lot. On farms, Fruits and vegetables are either too ripe or unripe, can be upcycled and made into enzymes. This on itself is mostly free and just a matter of time. So why use ecoenzymes? Chemical fertilizers can harm the natural balance of soil microbes and are often made with non-renewable resources, which can degrade the soil over time. In contrast, they are more sustainable containing living organisms that improve soil quality and have a low carbon footprint. <clears throat> Using ecoenzymes is not only beneficial for the environment, but also for human and animal health, as they are safe to use and do not contribute to agricultural runoff. Therefore, by using enzymes instead of chemical fertilizers, we can help improve the health of our soil, protect the environment, and ensure the safety of our food sources. It is time to embrace sustainable agricultural practices, and make a positive impact on the world we live in. Here's an example of what runoff can do to an ecosystem. The fertilizer from farmlands provide high amounts of nutrition to the algae and seaweeds in the river water bodies. This can be harmful as algae and seaweed absorb high amounts of nutrition and oxygen, which is vital to the survival of many fish and organisms. Using ecoenzymes is not only beneficial for the environment, but also for human and animal health. 
as they are safe to use and do not contribute to harmful agricultural runoff. Therefore, by using enzymes instead of chemical fertilizers, we can improve the health of our soil, protect the environment, and ensure the safety of our food sources. <clears throat> Apart from fertilizers, enzymes can also be used as a semi-replacement for detergent. Different enzymes are created during fer the fermentation process, which include proteases, amylases, cellulases, and lipases. Each of these enzymes are responsible for breaking down certain things. On our clothes, there can be stains including oil stains, blood stains, and stains from dirt. All of these are substrates that the enzymes can attach onto and break apart so it can be washed off easily. This chili oil experiment shows an example of the enzymes at work. On the left side is the control. I mix water and chili oil in each container. In the middle is the water and chili oil mixture after being shaken with four drops of detergent. On the right side is the water and chili oil mixture after being mixed with two drops of detergent and two drops of ecoenzymes. You can clearly see the difference between the three photos. The oil has cleared a lot in the mixture with both enzymes and detergents. You may now be asking why this is important. In many detergents, there are many different harmful chemicals, including formaldehyde, 1,4-dioxane, and parabens. Although they are not as common, they still do exist and cause life-threatening health problems, including cancer. I hope this presentation on ecoenzymes has provided you with a stronger understanding of the environment around us and introduced you to something that can potentially help it. Thank you.